everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is just an in-between for our summer camp to show you how easy and quickly the sashing goes together. So join with me now for a quick little not much talking video and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, you should already have all your pieces cut out as per the sashing and layout document available in the same place as our weekly block downloads at ilovetomakequilts.com. What we have to start with for the sashing is making a simple triple strip set consisting of two dark strips and a light strip in the middle. Construction is very easy. Putting a dark strip on one side of the light and then adding a second dark strip to the other side of the light strip and pressing. Enjoy some music while I continue to sew a little and we'll come back to the completed strip sets at a later point in the video. Now just a quick demonstration of how I sew with the fabric strips. You can see here that I just hold one finger in between the two layers and just gently glide them under the needle, letting the feed dogs do most of the work, ensuring that the edges remain even and that you're not tugging backwards, you're not holding these strips as if you're water skiing behind a boat. Just let them glide through. The cornerstones are pretty self-explanatory. So as you can see here, I have the main part of the cornerstone laid out from the pieces cut as per directed on the pattern. So I'm just gonna sew the middle together first and then put on the two ends. And I'll come back to you once that is done. I'll only be showing footage of sewing two units together as this is all I need for the next part of the sashing. Now that they're all done and we need to make eight, we need to put a sew and flip on all four corners of each of the cornerstone blocks. In this next part coming up, I'm going to show you how I do that, both the traditional method with a drawn line and my preferred method with the folded corner clipper.
assemble the long sashing row for in between the three blocks, we need two of our cornerstone units and three of the sashing strip units that we constructed before. Along the way here, if you pay attention, I do have to clip some of the seams to make them nest, and I do this so that everything lays flat. On some of the cornerstone blocks I pressed into the center, which means that they will nest, and on some of the cornerstone blocks it's pressed outwards, which means on the sashing strip itself, you can see here, I just put a little clip and change the way that the seam allowance is going so that it will nest with that cornerstone block. You can watch here now while I'll attach all of these units together and we'll be done. Once you have all of those sections sewn together, give it a good press, pressing towards the sashing strips. You need to make a total of four of these long sashing strips, and then we can go and start constructing our quilt. As you can see here, we have one long sashing strip on the top, then we put two of the short sashing strips in between each block, followed by another long sashing strip. Bit of a tongue twister there folks try saying it five times fast okay i look forward to seeing you this coming wednesday for block number five in pat sloan's summer camp see you then